Hey y'all, Carolina Tony. The day the road brings us to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we are here at Bodies Human. This is a exhibit on the human body. This museum, per se, the exhibits are all human, real human beings at once. They were living, breathing, walking, talking human beings. Of course, they're dead now. Their bodies were donated to science, and they're here for the purpose of being able to study how the human body works, which should be a benefit to all of us. And we're gonna explore this exhibit right after this station identification. Hey y'all, Carolina Tony here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Join me as I travel the highways and byways in search of adventure, where we will explore roadside attractions, abandoned places, historical, and even the weird and strange. And hey, maybe a food review or two. Please subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to click that bell so you won't miss any future videos. We are entering Bonnie's Human, and upon coming into the door, the first we see. One unique thing about this museum is everything that we're going to see in here is real. These are real human bodies. They've gone through a process, a uh, polymer, where they have been, for lack of a better word, plasticized. This is a male pelvis. Again, this is a real human. This person here used to be a living, breathing human being. They have stripped away various parts of the body so you can see and injected plastics and dyes so you can see the veins and the nerve system. All of these humans and body parts have gone through a process called plastinization. It was developed in 1978 and where all the body fluids are removed and different types of polymers are all are inserted in replace of the body fluids and they basically become plastic. Here is a child's spinal cord. And this is an adult spinal cord where parts have been stripped away. You can see where it's been split open so you can actually observe the spinal cord itself. And all the nerves. This is a dissected leg. Right in there is the uh, arteries and the veins. This is half a head with the facial nerves. process that these cadavers went through is they removed all the fluids basically they dehydrated them and replaced it with plastics but these are the real human beings with the nerves and organs just as they would be
an arm. The nerves are yellow and the veins are blue and the arteries are red on the foot. And a lot of nerves in the bottom of your feet. Here are the female reproductive organs. Imagine that's the ovary. A dissect the kidney. The male reproductive organs. There is a urinary bladder. Here is a human lung with a bronchial tree. Thyroid gland. This is a cast of the lungs. It's amazing how complicated, how complex the human body is. But all these things go together to work. This is the lungs with the larynx and the trachea. These transparent slices are a unique view into the human body. These horizontal cross sections or slices similar to views that are created by computerized tomography or CAT scan image. This being the back of the head. Just little spices. This is a discus thrower showing how their muscles work. But one unique thing is the skin covering the head. There are four layers of skin that cover the skull. See how they're, di they're dissected there. Slices of a brain showing the gray and the white matter. Here is a dissected stomach, tongue and larynx. And there are lungs with the intestines. colon, very small thing. This is a brain after a stroke. A stroke occurs when the blood clots in an artery or a blood vessel breaks, interrupting the blood flow to an area of the brain. When either of these things happen, brain cells die and brain damage occurs. And when brain cells die during a stroke, your abilities that are caused by that particular area are lost. If I say so myself, that was pretty creepy. Hope you've enjoyed our trip to the body's human. Perhaps you learned something, I know I did. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Be sure to tell your family and friends. And for now, y'all have a good day.